Hey there, it's Brandon from Virtual DJ, back with another tip of the day. Now, in order to help you mix and sync beats, Virtual DJ features an advanced BPM detection engine, which creates a beat grid in order to precisely map out the track's BPM, in order to create perfect loops, use beat aware effects, and other tempo related functions. And while electronic music will be easily beat mapped, sometimes your tracks will have a tempo change transition, or in the case of human drummers, have swing, which will cause grid drift and other beat grid issues. The good news is you can easily fix these using the BPM editor. Here's how to use it. When you load a track into a deck, Virtual DJ will calculate and display the beats per minute, and each detected beat will be marked in the rhythm wave with a small dot. Now there are a few ways to open the BPM editor and make adjustments. For a track already loaded in the deck, you can click on the track cover art and select BPM editor. You can also click on the BPM display to open the sub window and then click on the edit button. And finally, you can also right click on the track in the browser and select BPM editor. In the BPM editor, you can use the top waveform display and your mouse's scroll wheel to zoom in and out or click and drag the window to move to different parts of the track. Now the red vertical line is the detected first beat or the beat grid anchor point. Now it can be grabbed with the mouse to adjust its position. However, the computer beat grid is locked into place to the left of the anchor. To finally adjust the beat grid, you can click and drag and adjust the grid using the grayscale as a visual aid. To listen to the track to help you make your adjustments, click on the play button or click on the scrub button. Additionally, you can enable in a metronome to help you determine if your adjustments are in time. You can also use these buttons to quickly half or double the BPM value, use the arrow buttons to make small increment adjustments, or even manually type in the BPM value if you already know it. Now the radio button allows you to quickly copy the BPM value of a track that is loaded in the other deck, or you can also scan for variable BPM, which I'll show you in a second, and also to reanalyze the track to start over and erase any current manual adjustments. Now with most EDM and electronic music with no tempo changes, you will most likely not have to perform any adjustments with the beat grid. However, occasionally, if the track doesn't have a strong first downbeat, Virtual DJ might miscalculate the phase. Now you can fix this traditionally using the BPM editor and drag the beat anchor, or you can change this directly in a deck by clicking on the tap button once. Virtual DJ will then shift the beat anchor to the current playback position. If you have a collection of DJ transitions to help you with BPM jumps, then you may notice Virtual DJ may calculate the beat grid based on the most prevalent BPM value of the track. As shown here, I have a transition track with a tempo change from 100 beats per minute to 126 beats per minute, and VDJ has calculated the beat grid based on the 126 beats per minute. We can easily adjust this with the BPM editor. Click on the radio button and select the Reanalyze Variable BPM option. Virtual DJ will then rescan the track looking for tempo changes, and then show in red anchors the transition and automatically adjust the beat grid for you. My bad habits lead to late nights and in a long conversations. With the beat grid now correct, you are free to use sync, use loops, and other beat grid dependent features without any issues from the tempo change. The variable BPM scan is also great to use on rock or other live musician tracks that have a human drummer. Since these are non-computer generated rhythm tracks, there will always be slight variations and swing which can cause the beat grid to drift. As you can hear, the metronome is off. However, once scanned with the variable BPM scan, Virtual DJ will place multiple beat grid anchor points to ensure the beat grid is correct. As you can see, and most importantly here, the BPM editor and the variable BPM scanner make it simple and easy to make sure that all of your mixes stay in sync no matter what genre of music you spin. That'll do it for this tip of the day. We hope you found it helpful. If you have an idea you'd like to see in our next tip, email tipoftheday at virtualdj.com.